Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. I am so excited to be here with you today because today is one of the first episodes of the podcast slash YouTube. Now, the first episode we did in Bali, whoop, whoop, it was amazing, but now we're back to reality. On this channel, we are all about working on you leveling up, stepping up and stepping in to the it girl that you are destined to become. We will be chatting all about topics such as personal development, personal growth, mindset, and really the tactics and strategies necessary for you to truly step up and to rebrand yourself as the girl that you're destined to be. And that means building your personal brand and being confident as fuck while you do it. So I am so excited to be here with you. I am Terry Lee, your host, and welcome to the damn channel. Make sure that you press subscribe if you haven't, if you're listening to the podcast instead of watching the podcast, hop on over to YouTube. We are here, we are having fun, and... You need to be where it's at. I am just like so, so, so excited because this is lived experience. This is me being a few steps ahead of you in the game and on this journey so that I can teach you literally what I do, how I do it, so that you can go out and do it too. Today we are talking all about how to get published and the reason that we're talking about it is because I just got my first article published in Mamma Mia in Australia. We are sharing all the tea about exactly how to get published and the steps that it truly takes to get there. So this is the real real, okay? This is no, no gatekeeping over here. This is really what you need to do. Like I said, we are all about you stepping into your full potential and truly defining what success is for you along this journey of you building your personal brand and showing up as your confident self. Today, we're talking all about how to get featured and how you can use it specifically to grow your authority in your niche. We are talking about this today because I am so proud that I have had my first article published and this is the first of many. Yes, I am saying it. And I think that it is so important for us to share our journey, whether that is showing up on YouTube, showing up on a podcast, whatever it might be, sharing your journey through the article that you create. It is so important for us to step up and to speak to people that are a few steps behind us. And that's why we're here. So before we dive in, I want to address the elephant in the room. Okay. And that is the fact that you are probably listening to this, but you've probably thought, why would anybody care? Why would anybody want an article to be written by me? I'm not influential enough. I am not established enough. I don't have the writing experience in order to do this. And I get it. I have been there. I've been in the exact same situation that you are, girl. Okay, so you are not alone. And this is something that I think is really important for us to talk to because it's not about you being the best of the best, for you to be top of the food chain, for you to be having achieved everything that you are destined to achieve. Because if that was the goal and that was the only point that you can start speaking, teaching and helping those around you, it's going to be really hard for you to connect with your people. The best time for you to be stepping up and to be stepping into this leadership role, to be building your personal brand is while you are on the journey. Because the true power in this, the true power in living in 2023, in the fact that we have technology, phones, mics, all of this readily available for us, is the fact that you are only a few steps ahead of the person that you are speaking to. And that is the perfect place to be. I'm a few steps ahead of you. Okay, I'm not all the way over here. I'm just a few steps ahead of you and I want to teach you as I grow and bring you along on this journey. There's this new wave of founder influences and if you're here, you're probably a founder, you're probably a content creator or you are going to establish your own business at some point in time and you know that the true value in your personal brand is infinite, okay? Because your currency is your brand and no one can take that away from you. You can get any job you want. You can start any business and you can have so much opportunity knocking at your damn door 
just by building your personal brand. Now, I don't have to sell that to you because you're here, you get it, you know that it's powerful. But today, I want to challenge you because by you thinking that you are not ready for this next step, it is holding you back. And at the end of the day, if you are here and you are thinking, I don't have this yet. I don't have that yet. I don't have A, B or C. I need to have that done before, before publishing that article. You are currently stuck in your ego. Why? Because you are making it about you. And it's not about you. I know that's a really tough pill to swallow, but it is not about you. It's about the people that you are going to help. And if you are here, if you are listening to this podcast, if you're listening to this channel, I know that the community that I attract are truly beautiful people that are not here just to get some clout, to get some recognition, to get some followers. No, if you are here, you want to make an impact in the world. You genuinely believe that you help your customers by showing up, by selling the thing, by building your brand, whatever it might be that you do, by creating that content, by starting that business, you help the people that pay you, essentially. It is more than just fame. It is more than just likes on Instagram or TikTok. And that is so, so, so beautiful. And I really want to commend you for that. But also I want to remind you that it is not about you. So if you're ever sitting there thinking, I am not successful enough. I don't have enough achievements. I don't have enough money in my bank account just yet. I'm not pretty enough, tall enough, smart enough, old enough, young enough, whatever the enough it might be. Remember, it is not about you. There's someone that is on your journey that looks up to you, that is a few years behind you, and all that they need is to see that someone like them can do the thing. Because we all know the phrase that you cannot be what you cannot see. So you need to show up and be that for that person, okay? So that is the first part of all of this that I really wanted to chat to you about. And I firmly believe that it is our responsibility as founders, as content creators, to truly share our stories and our experiences as we go, to inspire, to motivate, and to remind people that they can do it too. Because girl, if I can get published, so can you. I am nothing special. I'm only a few steps ahead of the game than you. And honestly, this entire thing arose without me having the intention to write an article, let alone for it to be published. I literally walked into my modeling agency and I spoke about the fact that I was scared shitless about going natural, about wearing my hair curly and modeling because nobody knew that my hair was curly. Every single makeup artist or like hairstylist on set would always just lose it. <laughs> I could see the panic in their eyes when I rocked up and they they saw that my hair was naturally curly because as far as my pictures were concerned, it was straight. If you want to read the article, it's all about how I had never worn my hair curly or even seen myself what my hair looks like curly naturally or what my natural eye color had been in the last 10 years. Because if you know me from before, wore gray color contacts and I put on this facade and this mask for everybody to see because of a version of me that I thought I needed to be in order to be portrayed as beautiful and accepted and to belong. And I really went on this journey of self-discovery and wrote about it. And I thought that that was so boring. And the, all that I cared about was that my agency and my, my, my bookers backed me. So when I went in there and spoke to them about it and said that this is something that I really feel called to do, my intention was not to get an article published. As far as I was concerned, this is the most boring, self-indulgent, mediocre thing that I am blowing up in my own head and nobody would care about it. They said, no, you should write an article about this. We completely support you. Thank you, Bella. Love you guys. And I went ahead and I did that. And I have never felt so supported and so loved and so 
so grateful for the people around me. And I think that it was such a fantastic opportunity for me to actually just sit down and write my thoughts and to collect my thoughts and to truly process everything that I had been through up until that point and my reasons as to why I was making this change. Now, I thought this is the boringest shit you will ever hear, okay? I thought nobody would care. One of the biggest online publications in Australia picked it up. Yeah. So if you're sitting there thinking, I'm not interesting enough, I'm too boring, what you see as boring or not interesting does not mean that someone else sees it that way. So go for it. You are enough. You're smart enough. You are successful enough. You are beautiful enough. You are accomplished enough to do this. And I am telling you that because you are, okay? I really want you to share your story and this is your moment to do it. So I'm going to teach you how, okay? So today I am sharing with you the exact steps of how you too can get published. And I want to address a major mistake that most founders and creators do when it comes to this. And that is waiting for someone to approach you. Okay, so if you're sitting there thinking, oh, when I do that big launch, when I grow my followers to 10K, when I do the thing, that is when someone will come to me or I'll find them, but probably someone will come to me because I'm so amazing and, <laughs> and then I'll get my article published and that's how it's going to happen. And I want to give you a bit of a reality check. No one is coming to save you. No one is coming to save you. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. It is up to you, girlfriend, okay? We are born into this world alone. We die alone. And at the end of the day, our life is our own. Nobody else needs to live it except for you. So take charge, write your own narrative, and make it happen. Are you going to hope that someone sees potential in you? Or are you going to back yourself? Because I firmly believe that no one else is going to back you until you back yourself, whether that's financial, whether that is spiritual, whether that is emotional, it doesn't matter. You need to back yourself first because if you don't believe in yourself, why should anyone else? Why should they pay you? Why should you be their coach, be an influencer, a stylist, someone that they look up to? Why, why should you be? Because if you don't believe in yourself, why should they? You're meant to be your biggest fan, girl. So start acting like it. If you're going to be the it girl, you need to know and feel and embody that you belong because you do. FYI, you do, but you need to believe it first. So buckle up and let's start taking some steps towards those goals of yours. You need to, like I said, back yourself first and that starts with you putting yourself out there. So how are you going to do that? I'm going to tell you, okay? So how to get published and the steps are super simple. It is not complicated. You're probably thinking that it's so hard. It's not. I did it. I did it quite quickly and you can too. You're even going to listen to the steps and be like, is that it? Yeah, this is it. So step one, research publications within your niche and the topic. So if you are a founder or someone that comes from a sports background, you're going to want to find a publication that specifically speaks to that or journalists that speak to those types of topics. You don't want to be, I don't know, maybe it's your woman of color focusing in the beauty space and you go to a news article whereby they speak about lifestyle and they speak about tech and business and that is just so disconnected to what they want. No, you're going to do your research, you're going to do your due diligence and you're going to find the best place for you. Okay, I don't mean just going to a beauty place. No, 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 you're going to go to the best one you can find, okay? Because we're starting at the top because you deserve to be there. And if it's a no, it's not a no, it's just a not yet. Remember, so you're going to go to the top of the top, your dream list. I want you to list out 10 publications that are aligned to your niche and your topic and what you want to talk about and to truly go for it, okay? Only the top 10 because we're the best, you know, that, that's who we surround ourselves with. If you believe that you belong, you do belong. Once you have gone ahead and made a list of potential publications that you would like to submit to, 
you're going to familiarize yourself with them. You're going to really look at their submission guidelines. And yes, they are just on their website. It's not that complicated. Step two, you're going to write a strong pitch. Now, a pitch is a brief summary of your idea. It's going to be super short. It needs to be concise. It needs to be clear. And you need to communicate why the hell they should care. This is going to be intriguing as fuck. You need to make it juicy, okay? You want them to be begging you to spill that tea. Once you have written your little cute little snazzy snappy pitch, then you're going to read over it again. Make sure that it's unique. Highlight something, give them a few tips and make sure that it is relevant to something that's happening in the world right now. That could be a TV show, that could be a movement, that could be something that's happened in pop culture. It doesn't matter, but you need to make it relevant now. That's a little tip that my my booker gave me. He's great too. So definitely take that on board and that's what I did. Now step three, submit your writing, okay? So this can be past articles, this can be a matter of just things that you've written in the past so they can really see that you can write if you if you can. Personally, I didn't do this step. This is what you're meant to do. I was a little forward. I wrote my summary and then I just went straight ahead and wrote my article because once the juices were flowing, I was just in it. I literally spent like three days, locked myself in my office upstairs and just wrote my heart out. It was literally just a journal. I wrote this article to be so raw, so vulnerable. I had just watched a movie on Netflix with Mila Kunis. I forgot what it's called. She's an editor for the New York Post or something like that. And she got knocked back on an article that she wrote by her manager and She said, you need to write it as though no one's ever going to see it. So I took that on board. I took that really to heart for three days. I literally just self-reflection, beach walk, self-care, self-love. And I wrote my little heart out, okay? And I was real. I was honest. And then from there, I pulled it back. Not in the sense of the vulnerability, but in the sense of length. (laughs) Because I can't just submit all of my journalings. So... From there, I created something really beautiful. And that I think is actually a part of this step is write it like no one is watching. This is just for you. Who gives an F what other people think about what you're currently processing or what you've gone through or your story? Tell it and tell it real, tell it raw, tell it boldly because it deserves to be told in that way because you deserve that space. Take up space, sis, okay? You deserve every single freaking inch of that room. So take it. Now, step four. Once you've gone ahead and wrote this beautiful, beautiful piece or shown your past writings, read the fine print, okay? Step four is be patient. You gotta wait, okay? So good things come to those that wait. My point is be patient. They're busy people. They are important people too. That does not mean you're going to stop at just applying to one place. You're not going to submit at one publication and hope for the best. No, you're going to take your list of 10 and you're going to submit it to all of them. First and best dress. You are a hot commodity. Okay, believe it. They will need your piece. They need it. It's hot. It's amazing. It's juicy. It's real. It's raw. It's bold. So act like it. Submit it to the 10. Then go about and do your own thing. This is your moment to grow. This is your moment to think about the next piece because you have done due diligence. You've done what you needed to do. You've got that ball rolling. You've submitted it to all of those people. So all that you need to do is be your badass self, continue being amazing and move on to your next project. So that could be a new article. That could be showing up on socials. That could be anything, just focusing on your business. But what I really want you to know is that if you do get knocked back, it is not a no forever. It is a not yet. It is inevitable. Your success is inevitable. Your article being published is inevitable. And I'm so, so, so excited for when you get to live in this moment and your truth in your authenticity and to get some recognition for it because it doesn't come to you once you've achieved the thing. You need to start acting like you belong now. You need to start acting like 
your article is something that everybody wants to be reading because it is. All that I really want to say to you is that you are worthy. You should be seeing take up space and it is your time to go get her. Okay. Go get that future badass version of yourself because she is coming and she deserves to take up space. Hope you enjoyed this episode and make sure that you subscribe and follow along if you are interested. If you're on the podcast, check out the YouTube. It's on new YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, support your girl. This is brand new to me. I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much for your time and I will chat to you soon. Bye.